Hello everyone. Hi everyone. And welcome back to Dog and Partridge, a place of own fine craft tales. This is the non-brewmaster, Alan Partridge. This is my brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Hello everyone. And you can see we're this side of the bar this evening, because we're doing a short video on the Grandfather. The new S40, we've been very kindly sent by those guys of Bevy. And uh, this is it. Oh, I know. This is it, bro. And I'm a novice, bro. What's this do? This makes beer, all grain beer. Oh, yeah. I've also got another all-in-one system, but this is the big, big, big 40 litre, 46 litre. Wow. Capacity. Okay, okay. Kettle, if you like. Okay, okay. So um, tell me briefly what it does. Right, so basically, briefly, you put grain in here. Oh, right, okay. You mash it. Pressure at a certain temperature on okay. the easy to use controller. This one here. You lift this out. Yeah. You rinse it. Right. With some more water, and then you should have a load of load of brew. Basically, right, a load of brew. You bring to the boil, and you add hops in. Well, that's pretty simply. That's pretty yeah. simply. It is barely that simple, really. Isn't it? Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a brew day video with this, but I've already done a brew day. Ah. I wouldn't do a brew day. Straight off and not not test it if you like. No. So I did a test. So you did a test first, bro. And there's one or two little problems that you should know before you uh, go ahead and purchase one of these. So what were the what were the problems, then, bro? Right. First off, some places like get a brew are saying this has got a capacity of forty six liters, and it has got a brewing it has got a capacity of forty six liters. Let me just take that out there, so bro. And it ah. is actually stamped. He's right. It says on here forty six liters. Right. So what you'd do is, you'd probably filter 30 litres. Okay. And thinking that you could probably get up to 46 litres with 16 litres of sparge water. Okay. Whatever you do, don't. Ooh. Right? <laughs> On the box uh, that comes in, yeah. it says 40 litre pre-boil. Yes. Right? Now, the main reason you shouldn't fill it to 46 litres <laughs> with a grain basket in places is if you can see this distance here to here, yeah. it's 100 mil. I bet you can't get it out of the water, can you? And the distance from here yeah. to 46 litres isn't. Isn't. <laughs> it's 60 mil. Okay. So you've got 40, 40 mil okay. over the grain basket, sat in water. So when you right. try and lift it out, you're going to have water everywhere. And this is really heavy now. You've got, 10, kilo, of, yeah. you've got 10 kilos of grain in here, okay. and it's all wet. Right, yeah. So do whatever you do, what I suggest you do anyway, <laughs> if you're doing it, is mash as normal as you would. It mashes really well, 30 litres, and then just put another 10 litres. And you've got a grain basket up here. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, so okay, wow. Put 10 litres in, take your grain basket out. Now, I did find out that this grain basket fits nicely into a peco. Okay. So you just put that into a peco, get six more litres, wash through the grain, okay. put the six litres in there, bring it up to the 46 if you want to do it that way. That way you will get two corny Okay. This is what this is what get a brewer to say, and you can have two 19 litre corny Corny kegs out of it, right, yeah, rather than just sort of like trying to yeah. brew twice. Okay, so, um, all works well? All works well apart from... Any minuses, bro? Yes. All works well. Obviously, you've got 46 litres in to bring up the ball, so that's going to take a considerable amount of time. That's a lot. So, I did have to put, I brew outside under a lean to. So, I did have to put a jacket around it. Okay. Because it was taking forever to get it up to boil. Okay. When it does get to boil, if you've got the lid on, you've only got 60 mil there. Yeah. This means it's very, very easy to boil over. Okay. If it boils over, what they don't tell you is it's got a safety cut out. So, if it boils dry, it cuts out. That's good. It's good. That's good. It's good. But the word I tell you is, if you splash water on here, on the panel, on the panel, yeah, it also puts out. Ah, no. Yeah. There is a reset button on it. Well, surely it's one of these buttons here, bro. No. no. Oh, where's the reset button, bro? Underneath. Hang on a minute. You you got forty six liters of water in here. Yeah. Ah, I it's see very, the problem. Very hot water. <laughs> no. See the problem? I do see the problem. Yeah. So, so you've got to be aware that if you do get water on it, it may cut out, it may not. I don't know if th this unit did anyway. Yeah. But what I have done, I've purchased a platform to stand on yeah. that's actually got holes in. I'm going to direct this over, direct the reset okay. button over and over. Over and over. So if it does cut off again, I can reach underneath. Can't pop the reset. Yeah. So the reset's on the base. Yeah. Okay. 
So it does take a long while for it to reach. It's going to, isn't it? It's 46 litres. Hey, it's, 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 I like to see you boil that many kettles, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only other thing I would suggest, if you haven't got an ops spider, is to get a filter fitted to the tap down here. I don't know if you can quite see that. Okay, Becky. Is get a filter fitted to that tap because there isn't a filter on the inside. There isn't a filter on the inside. Okay. And if you open that should, tap. Should we have to lift so we can just see that on camera there? So we've got that's it, that's the old kit there. Yeah. And then we've got a little tap on yeah. the bottom there. Hopefully that came out on camera. Yeah. All of that's all pretty pretty simple. Lovely jubbly. So this lovely piece of video we're doing now, by the wizard of editing, you're yes. gonna put in front of your god boo day. Uh, no, I'm not actually no, not. I'm gonna release this now because Ooh, okay. I think these important things that went wrong on my brew day Might need to be people. out there to help others. Oh, okay. So that's do not put the grain basket in and fill to 46 litres. <laughs> Don't. Very dangerous because obviously you've got water's probably about 80 degrees and yeah. you're sparging and it, and it's not really sparging because it's not disappearing in into the kettle. Yeah. It's staying in there. Okay. So you're gonna lift the grain basket out. Right. With water and it's going to be chest height and it's going to come out. Uh, yeah, it could, could be dangerous. Could be, could be a mess. Could it? it could be don't, a mess. Uh, don't, don't go to 46 litres okay. with a grain basket. It does, to be fair, in all honesty, just tell you, 40 litre pre pre oil, oil patch. Okay, thank you. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Yeah. So obviously we're going to post this so people can see the, the piece of kit. And then you're going to do a brew day with it. Yeah, I'm going to do a brew day with it. And hopefully this time, I mean, brew day, now I've found out these little teething problems, it'll go a lot better. Thank you, thank you. Marvellous. <laughs> Fantastic, Ray. Right. right. I think that's it, is it then? That's about it for this video. We will be back shortly with a video all about beer. Oh, I like those. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, it's a goodbye from him. It's a goodbye from him. Toodaroo. Toodaroo.